Here's a story for you if you still believe in coincidences. Boeing whistleblower found dead in his truck from self-inflicted gunshot wound. A key whistleblower employee, former quality control manager who raised concerns about the firm's production standards, was found dead after an apparent suicide. John Barnett, former veteran Boeing employee of 32 years, passed away from the self-inflicted wound on March the 9th. Barnett's lawyer said he was found dead in a truck near a hotel parking lot in South Carolina from the alleged self-inflicted wound. Barnett was involved in a whistleblower lawsuit against Boeing alleging serious safety concerns at the North Charleston plant where he managed quality for the 787 Dreamliner production. Boeing was in Charleston for legal interviews related to the lawsuit when he was found dead. Huge coincidence. And I mean, Hillary Clinton that I know of is not involved in this at all. Then we jump to some facts. Sabotage or shoddy maintenance? Questions swirl as aviation incidents start spiking. A mid-air engine fire, a tire separating from landing gear, several emergency landings. What is happening in the aviation industry? And these are some of the headlines over the past week. Tuesday, plane was nosediving. United Airlines Boeing 737 engine erupts in flames over Texas. CBS News, America Air Jet clipped Frontier Jet on Miami International Airport tarmac. All right, that could happen. Zero Hedge, United's Boeing 737 MAX jet veers off the runway in Houston, making third incident in a week. Friday, tire separates from Boeing 777, crushes cars in San Francisco parking. ABC 7 News on Friday, SFO MEX United Flight makes emergency landing at LAX due to hydraulic failure. One failure after the next, after the next, the whistleblower apparently shoots himself at the same time that he's there for that court case. A little bit of a huge coincidence, don't you think? Especially knowing that in the New World Order in the final week, they don't really want people flying anywhere unless you're Bill Gates or anybody really rich. Those are the people that will be doing the flying. The rest will be comfortable in their 15-minute cities, being surveilled, watched over by AI, and controlled. So is it strange then that we're suddenly having huge amounts of aviation issues currently? And this is not even talking about the issues with health of the pilots where they're suddenly having cardiac issues and all sorts of other things whilst flying. Interesting times that we're living in. Keep looking up as we watch everything fall into place for that final week. Shalom.